Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. With me today is co-interim head coach of the Trojan softball team, Holly Ward. Holly, thanks for joining me here today. Yeah, thanks for having me. And uh, the first thing I want to talk about, that, that long title I just spilled out <laughs> there, it's kind of the, the elephant in the room when it comes to the season because it was just announced that uh, head coach Beth Mullins was taking a leave of absence mm -hmm. uh, due to medical reasons. And so that puts it on you and Taylor Smart as the interim head coaches this year. So, so before we get into talk about the season, just tell me about how you're feeling right now taking on this additional role of having to, you and Taylor having to be the interim head coaches. Right, of course. Well, Taylor and I um, are very prepared and we are 100% behind Coach Mullins and her decision. Um, you know, I, I think your health is really important and I'm really proud of her for being able to take a step back and focus on herself and we are 100% ready to step into that role and um, we, we really operate as a staff, um, all three of us, even when Coach Mullins is with us. So, you know, it's really not anything super different and we're very prepared and, um, you know, I, I'm over pitching, she does defense and hitting and then I help with hitting as well. So. I think, I think we're pretty prepared and, you know, not very overwhelmed at all. It's just, you know, another day of coaching. <laughs> and, of course, now that's, that's the two of you, but mm -hmm. uh, the team, how did the, the team kind of handle this transition? Obviously, being so close, right. I mean, it was a, a little over a week from the start of the season when this announcement was made. Uh, how are they handling kind of mm -hmm. this transition? Obviously, you said it's kind of the natural order that you guys helped out anyways, right? Right, yes. Um, I mean, I think the team was pretty surprised and they were a little taken aback, but I think at the end of the day, they know that um, T-Smart and I are going to do what's best for the team and um, they want what's best for Coach Mullins as well as we do. So, you know, everybody we talked about, everybody's just going to have to step up a little bit more and we're going to all be, we're, we're, the goals are the same, you know, like we're, we still want to win a conference championship. We still want to make it to postseason again for the second year in a row and um, you know whenever coach Mullins is ready they know that she will come back and um, so I think they know she's just going to do what's best for her and until she comes back we're just nothing really changes the goals are the same we're still competing every every day so I think they're also excited for game week you know um, <laughs> so I think that helps a little bit um, that they're they're just ready to get out there and play and of course let's talk about that the success of last season moving into this season, obviously uh, getting into the, the, the regionals and, and making that that push there, something that you, you just mentioned you want mm -hmm. to go back to, but how does that help motivate the team? Is it that you need to motivate them because of what they had last year and what they're going into this year? Right. Well, you know, we're not that different of a team. We, we only lost two, which is um, not that they were not important because they had very big roles, but we also brought in um, five newcomers who are studs. And I mean, as far as the motivation, I think, you know, getting that taste is, oh, we always say, you know, like you've got to get over the hump. Like once you get over the hump and you make it to postseason, you never want to not be in it again. So I think the motivation is there. You know, um, I don't think we have to do anything extra. They know what it takes to get there. So I think you know, they're just ready to get rolling. And of course, they've got to make it through conference play to do mm -hmm. that. And uh, how do you think you all are going to, I know we know how the coaches felt y'all were going to do, but how do you think you're going to feel in conference play? Because obviously there's always that looming threat of the number one team right. in the Sun Belt, uh, Louisiana there. Mm -hmm. But how do you feel that, that, that you're going to do conference-wise this year? I think we're going to do really well. Um, you know, last year we, we did very well and I think we're going to do even better this year. Uh, we have some more depth on our pitching staff and I think we're hitting the ball a lot better than we ever have in previous preseasons. So I, I you know, I think that's all just positive impacts that we're going to take into conference play. But I, you know, as far as conference goes, we've got to take care of everything before that first, before we get there. And um, I know the teams, you know, we made it to regionals last year, but we, when we, t we talk about goals a lot and all of their goals were, we want to win a conference championship. So you know, we can we can be an at large bid and make it to regionals like we did last year, but they want the conference championship. Yeah. So I think that's really awesome and just set, you know, a new standard that that's that's what we want to do. And I think everybody on our team and coaching staff is very we, we know that that is very possible. And of course, uh, 
big weekend to start things off this weekend. Five games at home. So anybody who's been waiting to see mm -hmm. this uh, softball team in action, they get a chance to uh, got to be excited about about getting to start here at home at the start of the season. Yes, for sure. Starting at home is always awesome. We get the home crowd and just maybe work out some jitters of, you know, first weekend back and you know, once once you get past that that first game, it's like smooth sailing from there. So, I think, you know, we'll they're they're so ready to play somebody other than themselves. You know, we've been scrimmaging each other for over a month now and they're I, I know our hitters are ready to face some different pitchers and our pitchers are ready to face some different hitters cuz we we have been really doing both very well. So, I think we're we're really excited to get back out there and draw the home crowd in and do all all of the things. Start things off against College of Charleston uh, Friday at 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. Is that right? All right, so folks can head out to the softball complex and check out five games this weekend. Not an excuse to that, <laughs> there to not see the softball team in action. Holly, thanks for joining us here today. Yeah, so, of course. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.